fight coming up next. It's a UFC middleweight division fight. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if you can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Proudly representing Sydney, Australia. He was born in New Zealand, Robert the Reaper Whitaker. He has put together one of the greatest winning streaks in the history of this middleweight division and did to Yoel Romero what few men have been able to do. Few men can stand across from Romero and just even live to tell the story right. of fighting him in the octagon. Robert Whitaker has done that twice and gotten his hand raised in the rematch. Whitaker is a truly, truly phenomenal mixed martial artist has a traditional background, but he also has a wrestling knowledge that is very underrated. He does not just get taken down, he's able to get back to his feet very well, and he has cardio for days. He's truly one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. And he's a grappler at his core. We talk oh, yeah. so much about his boxing, but the guys at Gracie Jiu-Jitsu at Smeaton Grange will tell you, this guy started as a grappler, still grapples in the gi during training camp. Robert Whitaker, back in, ideally, in a big way for him here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this much-anticipated middleweight encounter. Both fighters 29 years of age. With similar height and some differences in reach. Now for the official introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, Bruce this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 19 wins, two losses. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Dracos still not And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A kickboxer holding a professional record of 25 wins, six losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Sydney, Australia, Robert Whitaker. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand here. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Opens with the left hand and lands flush. as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the cover. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, that's a nice strike. I mean, he's cutting down the size with this beautiful leg kick. Situations. It's exhausting. This is a position where you are constantly draining at the gas tank of your pump. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. And there comes the separation now. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. 
Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. All right, single collar tie now. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Man, how about the steam behind that Whitaker jab tonight? Robert Whitaker is a great striker. I mean, he has it all when it comes to the stand-up in the boxing, and that is on full display right now. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Under three minutes remain in round one. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Robert Whitaker. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Let's get going. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Able to land with the left hand there. Just over two minutes to go in the round. He missed with that jab attempt there. And he landed the right hand there. Nice punch lands. Got clipped with the right hand. the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, boy, tie clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch through the defensive side to try to break this immediately. Down, no problem. Whitaker gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Big power shot there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. 20 seconds left. Oh, beautifully done with the hook there by Robert Whitaker. Exchange in the pocket. Single collar tie now. Round two straight ahead. All right, so that's the end of the round. The cut on the cheek is only getting worse. Thankfully, it is below the eye and not above it, but still a source of adversity for him here. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kick. He's throwing eye kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. His opponent still stands. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. And they separate. <laughs> Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. He's got to be careful. 
right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Lance with the right hand. Oh, collar tie. What a punch. Big leg kick land. And he finally is softened enough to that Bobby Knuckles moniker. I mean, they print the shirts. It's a great nickname. I don't know why he fought it. It's a fantastic nickname, and it fits him to a T. Bobby Knuckles, we all love you. We all love that nickname. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and start to find his range here in the pocket. Oh, well, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Let's go. Set up that takedown. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Let's, let's and they separate. For certain, the finish could come at any time. Oh! Oh, diving close to hands. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Buck. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, and try to escape this very, very dangerous position. One minute. Whitaker's has got full mount now. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Back to the feet now. Takedown defense holds up. Nice strike. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Oh! A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and forged right through it to get the big knockout win. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. All right, the official decision is inside the octagon. That's where we find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 40 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Robert Whitaker. Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight.
You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.